That's gonna crush Sam's other lungs. He's gonna die. I am aware of that. The protocol dictates that we save whomever has the better chance, and Eddie's saying that's the girl. But her vitals are stronger. He's starting to decompensate. If we have to choose. We do. We can't move that steel beam. Okay, okay, you're right. The, the beam is steel. The skin on this thing, the skin is stainless. That's much thinner. I could, I could go outside, I could cut a piece out, pull a girl through, and that will buy us enough room to save Sam. No, this car hasn't been secured. That's why we're working on the inside. If this thing topples, we can ride it down, but if you're on the outside... Yeah, I know. I will be crushed by a hundred tons of train car, and I know that is a lot heavier than a fire truck, but Bob... Buck, stop! All right, I know you made a promise. What promise? <laughs> to his fiance. I, I promised I would bring him back to her. What? To Abby. His fiance's Abby. Okay. No, look, it's not just about her. Okay, he's a father. He has two daughters. Stop. You're too close to this. This is too risky. I am willing to take the risk. It's not yours to take. You can't just rush into any dangerous situation and assume it's going to be okay. Because sometimes it's not, and I am tired of being on the wrong side of those hospital Bob! doors. I am not Athena. What did you just say to me? Enough. We don't have time for this. Oh, come on. 